How could you do this? Huh? I can explain, just listen. No, there's nothing else to explain. I know what you've been doing. You've been going behind my back, Nicole. Mike, I love you. Is that, it's just that your brother's been there for me when I needed someone the most. And I wasn't. My brother was there, but I wasn't there. I liked your brother from the beginning. And then I met you and I really did have feelings for you. I really did. But I went back to Will. How can you say you love me when I clearly saw you in my bed? I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to find out this way. I really didn't. Please don't take this against me. Please. You know what? I'm done. You know what really makes me wonder? I don't even think I can go back to the way I was just living. Or was that your plan? You trying to give me a ride? Where were you going? Are you Mike? This is Steven. I got your coffee. So, uh, we were on the phone about my brother earlier? Mm. Yes, um, what do you know about your brother's job? Uh, honestly, not much. I mean, I know he works at the base computer tech, but you know, he's a programmer, but he's just an intern. Yes, um, I work for that company as well. I was hired right after I graduated. Okay, so you're basically pretty young. Yes, that's not the point here, though, Mr. Cobb. What I'm trying to say is that your brother is very skilled at what he does. He might even be more skilled than me, for his age. Okay, so you're here to give him a promotion. Mike, I'm not here to promote your brother. I need your help. Hold up, wait, you need my help? With what? Okay. A couple days ago, I received a notification that your brother hacked onto the database of my company. While he hacked into the database, he stole a highly confidential encrypted file. He put this file on the flash drive, and we haven't heard from him ever since. Mr. Cobb, these files are highly confidential. As far as the government is concerned, they are top secret. Unless you want your brother to pay the ultimate price Maybe even dead. We're gonna need these files back. Do you understand that? Get it. Yeah, man. I found it on the desk at the house. All right, good job. No problem. Thanks for doing this. Now I have to do the hardest part. I'm sorry I had to come to this. It's fine, man. I'm sure my brother will understand. All right. See you later, man. You will. Yeah. Hey, I got the file. No one knows. It's safe. 
<laughs> Good. Bring it to me. All right. I'm on my way. What do you want? This is important. You think I care what you have to say? Look. I decrypted the files on your flash drive. Check this out. It looks like Steven's conspiring with another man. Look at this. This code is specifically for bank codes. And this? This hacks in the networks and servers. Looks like he's trying to hack into bank accounts. I don't know his motives though. So what do you want me to do about the flash drive? Give it to him. He's going to jail anyway. Look, I just don't want him getting suspicious. Hello? It's me. Mike? I didn't expect to hear from you. It's been a month. A month? I just saw you a couple weeks ago when you arrested Steven. What are you talking about? I handled that situation by myself. I figured you would have known that from watching the news. Uh, what do you... I didn't watch the news. You told me about this a couple weeks ago when you told me to give the flash drive to Steven. Don't you remember? I gave him the flash drive. Steven Rogers has been arrested for planning a conspiracy in local areas. Wilcon has saved the day by analyzing a flash drive and giving this information to local authorities. A detailed report can be found on the website. You there? Dreams and reality, an obsession of perception that can be mesmerizing. Where were you going? Oh, uh, you know, just around the neighborhood. Sport drive. Mind if I join you? Actually, yeah, I do. I actually need to talk to you about something, though. Yeah, of course. I don't think I can forget about it. Hey, Will, um, do you believe in other worlds? What do you mean? I mean, do you believe that you can recreate dreams to make them seem real, as if you were actually there? To an extent, yes. That's where the concept of lucid dreaming comes in. Just too irresistible to forget, man. It's just too irresistible. And I swear it's like it's like she wants you, but I want her too, man. It's like I if I try to convince myself to think that there's another solution, can I have her then? Huh? 
maybe if I can deceive myself to think that she's still out there for me, that she still cares about me. I don't know. Maybe if, maybe if I just live long enough just to live, you know, or enough to dream, maybe enough to get what I want. Mike, dreaming may be nice, but when you accept it as a reality, you tend to mistake it for things that's already happened in your life. And then you get confused and you go searching for answers. For all you know, you could forget this conversation. But this conversation could be the answer to all your misconceptions. Dreams are great devices to put your secrets in and fill the escalated emotions. But they won't put you a step further in life. They'll push you. Will, I'm trying to get her back. No! You're trying to deceive yourself. Look, the worst possible thing you could do is to go searching for something that doesn't belong to you. Get out of my car. What? Get out of my car! Am I dreaming? How do I find out? I was never good at the piano. And what is it that I want the most? Do I just want another interpretation of the world that it is today? Or do I just want to lie to myself to escape the truth? There is no escape from the real world. Because the truth is, it's just there. And no matter how hard it is,